What's good, Geezer Gang? I hope everybody is feeling absolutely great today. I am feeling amazing. We are feeling amazing. Me and Katie, we got up, we did yoga early this morning. We haven't done it in a while. And for those of you that ever do yoga, you know if you haven't done it in a while, it's almost like you have to break yourself back in again. As much as it's tough, it felt so good and we're so happy to do it. You feel energized, ready to start the day. Jojo got involved a bit of the yoga. He was doing his own stretches and also sometimes adjusting hours. And then he's back in the corner just reading his book. And then we did some homeschooling fun stuff, didn't we? the times tables that was fun wasn't it yeah it was good because you tested me as well it wasn't that i was just teaching you you were teaching me things too weren't you and i wanted to reveal a very secret let's share it with guys the geezer gang what's the secret about all of the answers in the nine times table they all add up to nine so like what do you mean like what 45 45 is nine what about 81 81 is nine this is the funny thing i said to him i was like yeah they all add up to nine. Oh, well, 99 that doesn't and he went well what did you tell us about 99? 9 and 9 make 18 that is in there. So, and 8 plus 1 is 9? Yeah. Yeah, I, did, I, I was like, oh wow, yeah. You're teaching me as well. Can I be homeschooled as well? Yeah! yeah. Now you've been just relaxing and you've been building a house on Minecraft, haven't you? Yeah, I can't really remember where my house was. That's not very good, is it? And mummy, you're just working on the thumbnail? Right? Yep. Cool, and you've got Pink Poo keeping you company? Yeah. Should we give Pink Poo a name? Yeah. Were you just thinking that? I was thinking that. Get out of my head. Pink Poo, what do you reckon? Well, I don't know, do I? Let me look at him. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, is it he or she? Uh, it's a they at the moment. It's a they. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let's stop messing around. Let's put it to the pros. Geezer Gang, you're up. Pink Poo, throw the names out there. We're picking one tomorrow. You've got 24 hours. It's snowing. Do you know what? We'll take any kind of snow in the UK, won't we? It's coming thicker now. We're talking, with, this is a blizzard. We'll be six foot under by the end it's of the night. Blizzard. Six foot under, that means dead. <laughs> They're having a good old party out there. What? The snow is having a party? Yeah. All the big chunks are like people. So Jojo, we found the home, is that correct? Don't keep the geezer gang waiting. So we found your home, have we Jojo? Oh my goodness, we just went on a ride there. Do you like my floor, guys? That's a lovely floor. Comment on the floor, geezer gang. Red and black squares. I like that combination of colours. So look, here's my crafting table. Here's my dumpy but dump chest guys. A dumpy dump chest? Yeah. Oh okay. And the service station that we had earlier has been destroyed. It lasted about a week but it is now just a rubble. It literally looks like it's been blown up. There's people in there! <laughs> well, that, that person's been saved now. Jojo, do you want to show us what's happened in the kitchen with all of the characters? <laughs> Can you explain what that sound has got to do with all of these cuddlies? Don't disturb them daddy. They're they're having a party. They're having a party? The poor pig here, look. Oink, get me out of here. No, he liked it. They all seem to be making some universal sound of just chanting. Is that what the sound people make when they go to parties? Hmm, <laughs> don't disturb us. Okay, we better not disturb them. They seem to be having a lot of fun. So today we've got some errands to run. We've got some things to sort out and we're going to go see... Your biggest fan. Yeah, our biggest fan has been watching us for a very long time. It's very cold! We are finally out on the moon. It's, well, we're not on the moon, <laughs> we're sat in traffic. This is the moon. Ugh. We had some nice learning fun this morning with Jojo. We don't always film what we're doing with him because we like to make sure our focus is on him when it comes to learning, that he's got our full attention. But if you do want a like day in the life of homeschooling, then let us know. One of us can do the learning, one of us can do the filming. Yeah, I think I'll be video director. You can be teacher. <laughs> What do you reckon? Okay. Okay. Hold up! Move! When we're frequently in the car, Jojo keeps giving me requests to do impressions of like an angry Arnold Schwarzenegger to everything about the road and everything you see. He will literally give me instructions like, say something about that sign or say something about that man walking along there. And I just have to come up with something which tends to be insulting, which I'm not comfortable with. Can I just say it's not as random as what people think though? Yeah, there is someone who's an impressionist of Arnold Schwarzenegger who does this. Come on, go! See that thing on that chimney right there? Say, where did that flipping arrow come from? See what I mean? Arrow? Oh, up there. I said aerial. <laughs> go on then, Daddy. Arrow! There's an arrow on that roof and being attacked! Go! Move! Go! Oh, stop <laughs> 
Honking the horn. So, so sorry about her. You are the Everyone's worst. Gonna, she does this all the time. Oh, Why shit. not? No, no, you don't give it away. I'll be sat in traffic and then she'll re you know, press my horn and then look around like, oh, who did that when everyone else starts looking at me? No, 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 no. What happens is, is it's when everyone starts honking. I have a bit of a honk and then the car in front of me will turn around and be like, oh, what's she honking at? So I'll go, yeah, what are they honking at? And then start looking around. She's not all sweet and chocolates. <laughs> Behind this beautiful face is a naughty girl. We are at Sainsbury's to get a few things and just always remember, grab your bags. Just, just grab some. It's cold. Look, the pink poo's going for a ride. Whee! Now we have got to go and pick up some money, trouble money. We're not going to tell you where, because that's a secret. You have to guess where. Yeah, guess where. What are you doing there? Do you remember what we used to have ones like this? And Dojo at Christmas when he was little, we put them out on the uh, table and tried to be civilised, and he just went and smashed them together. All that together. is civilised as far as we're concerned. <laughs> Jojo, when you were a baby, yeah, in this store, there used to be a camera and a screen up there, like a security one. And we used to pick you up and shove your head right in front of the camera. So it took up the whole screen. So we could see you on the telly. Should so we do it again? Yeah! Do it again I'll now. lift him up. Yeah. You're going to lift him up, all right? To the right. <laughs> Jump. Don't run down here. They get very excited, the security. Yeah, they told him off yeah. when he was about three years old. But these little travelator things going down. He run down, not like bad or anything like that, or dangerous. And my gosh, I'd stop. Like security going like, yeah, this is my job, but not mine. It's like, I care enough if he's done, doing something wrong, but tell us off, don't tell him off. Yeah. Well, no, I shouldn't get told off. I was a good boy. You should get told off. <laughs> Tea, sir. This is like the perfect Christmas oh, table. This can't really see. <laughs> That's how much you pay for that. I'm the baddie. You're I'm the, the baddie. baddie. Go on, right. baddie. He's he's telling us we can't video in here. Have you videoed us in here? Video. Thanks, there's it up yeah, there. There's a camera up there videoing people as they come in. Well, I don't want to send that well, so you're not allowed to use a camera anywhere in here? Who use cameras all the time, man? I'm just saying it, yeah. because my manager stopped there. He might just say, what are you doing? Oh, so right. at, least, at least now they can be like, I went down there and I told him. Yeah, yeah you saw it. He's coming, he's coming, there we go. <laughs> Employee of the month. Oh, no, 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 we forgot, babe. What, we didn't, what? We didn't grab the bags oh, in the car. We're hitting more traffic. We're on the way to see one of our biggest fans. We're going around the house. My mum. <laughs> it's her mum. She watches your videos every day. I know. It's our videos. It's not just me. It's the team effort. We couldn't carry on with this channel without beautiful you, could we? Stop it. You're already saying that because I've got loads of makeup on. Do one. I say it when you have nothing on. I say it all the time. You don't yeah. need all makeup, right, right, you don't. Right. I know some of your subscribers were saying that. Well, you don't know. It's true. No, they left some really nice comments. I yeah. saw them saying, oh, Katie doesn't need makeup. I'm naturally beautiful and all that. <laughs> you are. Well, that's really nice, but I'll just explain. But I don't know whether to tell this story or not. I'm you. There's kind of a reason why I wear makeup. It stems from my childhood. I've never told anyone this story. It kind of affected me a little bit. When I was about, I think I was about 12 years old, we went to stay at my um, cousin's house. So my auntie Shan, she's really, really nice. And around there, the kids were always more cool. Their toys were better. I really used to love going there. We went there quite rarely, so it was really nice. So when I was about that age, I was, a, well, I was a tomboy growing up and I didn't really care about the way I looked. I was always wearing sort of baggy clothes and my hair was the best. I always had long hair, uh, especially around that age, but it was just I didn't bother doing anything with it because I didn't care. It wasn't on my radar to worry about that kind of stuff. I was just busy having fun. So we were at my auntie's house and we went out to play with my cousin and a few other kids and there was a group of boys there and there was this one boy who was he seemed like sort of like the popular one out of the group like the leader and he suddenly went indoors and then came out out with this big remote control car oh yeah I'm yeah like, yes. like and everyone was so excited and he had these controls and everything and everyone was going oh let me have a go and everyone's having goes of it so i piped up i was sitting on a wall and then I, I suddenly piped up and said um oh let's have a go to the boy and it felt like in my memory it felt like it happened in slow motion he turned around and looked me up and down and then said uh nah he, no he went uh nah like that and I was so upset 
set and I was just sitting there in all these baggy clothes and hair was like a mess and I just felt so sad like I just literally felt like crying it was horrible and like he said it in front of all these other kids it's just degrading I guess wasn't it yeah it just it was just so humiliating the fact that he just went ugh he, like his first reaction to me was ugh then to say no so he said no based on the way I looked based on the fact that he thought I looked disgusting or whatever so I sort of went slowly away and went into my auntie's house and she must have noticed that I was feeling sad I didn't tell her what happened I've never told any anybody this she said oh do you want me to put your hair in a French plait and I said oh okay then my hair was really long she started doing it and it really hurt but it kind of made me feel better for some reason and she made my hair look so beautiful I remember looking in the mirror going wow and then I went rooting around in my cousin's bedroom they had the much nicer clothes than we had. I remember pulling out this kind of balloon skirt which had loads of layers and everything and I put that on with a, a, a nice little vest and everything and then I, I nicked a pair of her shoes and I went back outside. I felt, then I felt, oh look, I'm good enough now. So I went back outside. All of a sudden those boys, they didn't even recognize me. I heard them talking. I, I just started to play with some other kids and I heard them and they were going, who's that? who's that who's that and it like they were intrigued by me like all of a sudden they wanted to know me they wanted to play with me it was really weird so they didn't even like that boy did not even recognize me well, the one who insulted you the one yeah the one who said that was in that group and in that moment i just like i learned that i could change i if i changed myself i could change the way people think about me that day i i i went from never caring about the way I looked like I, being a kid I was just an innocent child like climbing trees and you know getting rips in my clothes and holes and not worried about how my hair looked to all of a sudden caring like thinking that this is important this is important that I, I do this stuff even if it hurts that's the that's the thing as well you know so we find like females well, well not just females we all find sometimes we um, put ourselves through pain as well to look a certain way yeah definitely. Yeah, and I learned that that day that that oh that's what you should do you know because it kind of hurt when my auntie even though she didn't mean to hurt me it just kind of just changed the way I feel and I always think about that day and I just I've never felt so ugly in my life I've never never since have I felt that like Sorry guys, I didn't mean to get upset. I was just trying to tell you the story that I've, ne I've never felt so unattractive as I did that day. Oh. And I just, sorry Jojo, I suppose I've just told you guys that because sometimes we judge people and we go, oh, they've had this done or that done or they look like that or, and, and I just think you never know what, you never know what their reasons yeah. are. And you know, I try not to be like that and I try to go, well, it doesn't matter. It just doesn't matter. And I'm- It's not doing anyone any harm, is it? Yeah, I know I need to work on myself more and accept that how I am naturally. But it's funny because sometimes when I don't wear makeup, someone will go, oh, Katie, you look tired. And I just think, mm -hmm. and then it triggers that, that memory of that what that boy that said to me. Yeah. yeah, and I go, well, I'm not good enough without these things. I just don't, I don't feel like I'm good enough. It's interesting you say about you need to learn to accept yourself. But I think society needs to learn to accept others no matter what. Yeah. Whether you have makeup on, makeup off, whether you're wearing stuff, if you look different, different features, whatever. I guess that's a lesson for everyone, isn't it? It's just like accepting everyone for who they are. It's true, lots of people get slated for wearing makeup or not wearing mm, makeup yeah. and sometimes you can't even win it's hard being a woman in that yeah. sense no one really i don't i no one really slated me for it anyway no. they didn't they just said oh you don't need it uh, you know and they were so yeah. and such lovely comments anyway the geezer gang know. loves you <laughs> the geezer yeah. gang loves you big time but i don't know why i'm so upset probably because i've never told anyone that story and it's just like it was it was really like it really hurt that that day, I just remember how humiliating it was. It's your self-esteem as well, and that's so that's so important as a kid. Mm. It can trigger you to go one way or another. I can send you, you can get real confidence or you can crash. That kid was a dickhead. No, no, I don't blame him. <laughs> 
Sorry, that's my impulses. No, I don't blame him. You know, he's just a kid, and it's like they say what they see, don't they? But you know what? At least you know you've grown to be an amazing person, regardless of how you look. And I see you with makeup, without makeup, and I see the same beautiful person every single time, based on who you are. You know what I mean? I know. Can you get me a tissue out, please, Bob? Um, my handbag. Yeah. The irony is, I've ruined my makeup now. For <laughs> <laughs> are you all right? You want to pull over and have a nice huggy? Yeah. Yeah, baby. You don't need makeup, you don't need anything, alright? You just need to be you, alright? You right, carry on going? Do you want me to drive? I'm good. You sure? Okay. You feeling good? Yeah. We're here. Should you guys see Nanny? It's cold, open up. Open that door! Grab your bags! Hello! Hello. Apparently, this is Lionel Bear. That's not my creation, that name. I come up with much better. Jojo's getting involved with the toys already. What, yeah. what does this do? It's a machine that makes ethics content. Here's some fabric. We mm. put it in here. So this kind of compresses it all. Like this, you need to make a shape. Then this right here kind of compresses with the fabric. Then this makes it into the shape it should be. Then, Spin this, put the ink on. Wow. Then, ethics clothing. I did not know all this time that your mum secretly had a clothes making machine. An ethical one as we, well. We had to kind of do, get all our work outsourced. We're going back here. There's Katie. What were you reading out there, Kim? You don't know? How dare you? Too long ago. And I was sucking my thumb. Oh, there you are. Yeah, there's Katie. Hi. <laughs> sucking my thumb in that the one. The cheeks still going strong. Hi. Hi. You've been dubbed as our number one fan, Kim. No, You've watched every single video, haven't you? No, I think so. You think so? Right. I, I, I'm, I'm starting to question you now. We've got quite the spread going on here. What does this nut roast consist of, Kim? Sage and onion, mixed nuts, cranberries, mushrooms, onions, garlic. I'm doing my best to keep holding this camera and not getting into it. I want to eat. Ah, uh, yeah. Jojo, on you, just sit very carefully because there's someone behind you. Oh, you're hitting up the broccoli first. Oh my goodness. That is the way you eat broccoli. What on earth has happened to you? God, I got wet. Got wet? We got this, a balloon you pump. You should be squirting at the camera. I'm not squirting it at the camera. No, you could damage the camera. It's a balloon pump. He yeah. fills it with water, pumps water into his face, all over his body. No, don't you dare. Get back. Get back. Oh, you... No! Don't! Shoot the camera at all costs. Bye! Bye! Bye. Take care. Hurry up. It's coming wet. Oh, it's sleet. Hey guys, so we're home now. Jojo's in bed. Some of you guys have asked for showers as well, so I want to give you these showers. In fact, these showers aren't actually requested from me. Some of them... They said, uh, can you get Jojo to give a shout? So I'll give the shouts now. If you still want them from Jojo, comment below and we'll see if you'll do it next time. But I'll be honest, he does what he wants, so I can't guarantee. But big shout outs first to Amanda Rodriguez V. Thanks for your comments. Uh, and SJ Calderon, you've been commenting on this channel for a very long time. I'm well aware of that. Mm -hmm. you wanted a shout out for your daughter from Jojo. So this is a shout out from me. If you want that uh, shout out from him, comment below. And one last person who wants a shower as well. Not from me, not from Jojo, but from Katie. Chloe Glover. Hello, darling. It's a big shout out to all of you guys. Thanks so much for commenting on this video. Thanks so much as well for the love on the last video. The comments we've received have been so generous. If you've liked this video as well, give a thumbs up. We will absolutely feel blessed to have your thumbs up. And if you're new to this channel and you're liking these videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's a red button on the mobile device, but if you're on the laptop, it's the pink poo. Comment below. I love to always hear your comments about these videos and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye. Bye. Then get beaten up. <laughs> <laughs> Note. <laughs>